I bought a few bits. You need some caffeine in you. You need some caffeine in you. <laughs> guys welcome to another weekly vlog i have absolutely no idea where the charger is for my batteries for my camera i don't know where the camera is and i don't know where the batteries are so we're just on the phone for a little bit but to be honest i actually think the phone quality is quite good sometimes so I'm not that bothered but um i've just got this parcel in the post that i really want to show you because this is from a small business on instagram but i know that a lot of you are going to absolutely love because i love it i want everything they sell and i think you will too so it's called natural isle and um it, honestly, it's just a beautiful company. How cute is this little card? I kind of wish this was seeded so I could plant it, but it's not. But they sell beautiful home decors. There's like candles and like coasters and stuff. The coasters are gorgeous. I really want them. And the candles are like the pillar ones, which I thought we could get. But James and I are trying to find some really cute like candle holders so that we can do like dinner parties and stuff and like have them on the table. So I just need to try and get hold of some of those. And then I'm gonna buy the candles. Actually, to be fair, they might sell candles. I'm not sure the holders i'll have a look but anyway they offered me some gifting which i kindly but anyway they kindly offered me some gifting and i honestly i couldn't say no because it's so gorgeous but they really sell beautiful stuff so this is what i chose and i thought it will be really really good for on my coffee table instead of like the little stand thing that i've got so i'm going to kind of like redesign the way the coffee table looks and pop this on there or it's going to go in the bedroom with my crystals but this is what it looks like how stunning is this it's like really nice and like i don't know what the, the material is but it's really nice and like hard i thought it was going to be stone but it's not it's like a different type of material but it's really cool so it's like a little tray that's just like a kind of cloud it's so beautiful but i thought this on the coffee table would be stunning so i'm going to see if i can style it up this is the current state of my coffee table if you're in the book club that's doing the magic then you know but this is currently the state of it so we're going to give it a bit of a rejig I've really, really, really messed up. I had a purple book sat on here yesterday and it stained the coffee table. <sighs> I'm gonna try and get it off with some cleaning paste from the pink stuff. Like this is all I've got that I can think of, but for God's sake. Okay, I'm not 100% sold on it, but it does look kind of cute. Just needs a bit of a clean. This is actually a tray that was I think dark brown, like a wooden one. And then we sprayed it with some spray paint and some like textured stone paint and it just looked really cute. But this is kind of what we're going with for the minute. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Just having a little chop chop of some chicken sausages. But I thought I'd tell you about my morning because I've just had the most epic morning ever. So I have a bike and my bike does not have any like functioning tires. It was kind of run down, like it needed a good service. It needed a bit of like a pick me up but I really wanted to be able to use it because I just want to be able to like cycle to convenient places. So like anywhere that's within like five, 10 minutes of my house, basically anywhere that I could go that is like somewhere that I could avoid driving, if that makes sense. And when we got the tires put on, the bike no longer fit in the car with like both tires. So I ended up having to cycle home and I've mapped out the route to the gym, like so well in my head. I know exactly where the cycle paths are, um, same with my route to therapy, like I know exactly where I'm going. The route from where we picked the bike up from, from where we got it prepared, I didn't know about cycle paths. I literally just winged it. Luckily, I've lived around here for a really long time. So like I used to live around here when I was a kid and obviously I moved back here like three years ago. So um, no, two years ago. I'll be starting my third year here like next month. So yeah, two years. And um, I managed to get myself home and I was so nervous. I didn't have a helmet, which is kind of annoying because my helmet and my lock and stuff is all turning up tomorrow. All of my route was cycle paths or like, you know, when you have the bit where it's like a cycle lane. So you're not specifically like in the road, but you are, if that makes sense. So I felt quite safe, um, but I do wish I'd had the helmet because I think that's gonna be like, I'm such a safety freak, like I will be using a helmet, but I'm so proud of myself for getting home. And I can't wait for like a new chapter of like something that will keep me fit, give me a bit more like energy to do stuff, but also save me some money on petrol because at the moment I like, I can't walk to certain places because it's way too far, but I could cycle or I drive. But obviously driving is really time consuming, it's racking up the petrol, and I'd rather sometimes just be outside and just have like a mindful like 20 minutes to myself or something. So very proud of myself. 
but I'm gonna eat the little concoction I've just made for lunch and then I need to get on a call because I have a call with my manager in like five minutes. This is my really highly unesthetic lunch. I've got Mexican rice, green beans and chicken sausages. Basically, I just threw together whatever I could, popped it in here with some Nando's marinade and some of this, which is really delish. It's my fave, me um, fave mayonnaise and then this is the uh, marinade. Today's outfit of the day. Just gone for these trousers, which I haven't worn in ages. They look like crossover ones. Little bandeau top, which I'm thinking about changing into a different top. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about it. And then I've just got my new New Balance trainers on, which James got me for my birthday, which are these ones. I'll leave them linked. But yeah, this is my little outfit for heading into London for some meetings and stuff. Um, and my squares bar because I'm hungry. <laughs> Kensington <laughs> studio. <laughs> oh god, I've missed a trench. Oh, I tell you what, when's the last time you put a trench on? Put a trench on in a minute and you'll be like, oh, why do they it. just make outfits so much better? I'm actually this. Yeah. I just bloody miss a trench. I'm just layering. I love <laughs> I autumn, autumn outfits. But I also, I feel like this summer style is just like, I love this summer style. I feel like I've nailed my summer like aesthetic vision. Summer vibes. Here it is. <laughs> just walk through. What do we just? I'm not doing. I was thinking. I was thinking. So we just like slide into it. I say I miss a trench. It's flipping boiling. Put this on and tell me it doesn't feel epic to be wearing a trench again. Oh, yeah, but look in the mirror. How much better does that make an outfit look? Literally. Oh, the trench. Doesn't it feel so good? It's so good. I miss, I miss a trench. I miss autumn weather. Shalom, pals. Tash and I are out shooting again. What a surprise. Her shoulder is here. Um, we did just film a little thing at home. So if you haven't seen on Instagram, we started today. It's going up later, but it will be up already for you. A little mini series that's like same, same, but different. So we've basically styled the same base three different ways each. So the first one that we did was white tee, blue jeans. The second one is like sports bra and leggings. And then we're going to try and think of some other ones. So if there's any like basic base that you want us to try and style let us know but um now we're out shooting and it was sunny but the, the sun's disappeared it's just cloudy and moody and like we literally just about parked and it started raining and we were like of course i know i need coffee because i'm not in the mood at the moment <laughs> you need some like caffeine in you so do you you <laughs> so, she's like you need some caffeine in you. You need some caffeine in you. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just looking at the sky being like, is it going to piss down? I feel like there is a black cloud directly above us, but it's moving very quickly. I'm just like... It's moving really quick. Please don't break. It's going like that way. Yeah. So I think we might be all right. We're the one little like... It's going to be sunny again in a minute. We're the one drop of rain that we have, is it? This is just not the vibe. This is just not what we want today. Is right, let's get a coffee for me and you because yes. I think we both need a caffeine boost. And then let's like get the energy going, get shooting. There's people outside the car. That boy was probably just in the video actually because he was very close to the window. Someone's taking pictures. Oh, darling, look how beautiful this is. We tend to drive here to shoot because it's so beautiful and so easy. It's like our hidden gem. So classic. Actually, maybe we don't say where we're shooting because then people want to steal it. Yeah, this is like our little true. hidden gem. We actually put it on um, Instagram before. The one time we tagged it, 
No, we didn't even tag it, did we? It was just that you could see the church name in the background and then suddenly someone else started shooting him. We were like, no! Wait, how did you get there so quickly? To be fair, it's not exactly our location. Like, I've known about this for years. I came across it by accident, actually, a few years ago, and then we just started using it together because it's easy. It's just an easy place to get to in and out, and it's not like a long drive to... And also, like, this just looks like London. Yeah. It's just very white. But sometimes you just want a plain background, which is not plain but got something to it, but still plain, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but you know. <laughs> sound very nasally and I don't know why. That. We've secured the goods. We're heading back to the car to quickly eat. I got a pump, no, pumpkin spice. <laughs> it smelled like pumpkin spice a minute ago, so now it's in my brain, clearly. But I got a peanut butter flapjack and Tash got lemon drizzle cake and we got some coffees. I really regret not getting a nice one, but it's fine. Just need the caffeine fixed. <laughs> But we went to a place called Anytime Coffee and it was quite cute. It was full of like a whole school trip. Um, yeah. But it was, it was a cute little coffee shop. So if you come to Eton, it's cute. There's no greater pain than going to get coffee and realising about 20 minutes after you've got the coffee that you need a wee. But you're not in a coffee shop. <laughs> Me right now. But I am wearing this cute little H&M dress. It's like a nice little stripe number. It's really, really sweet. I haven't tried it on before, but it's really nice. I like it. It's a good like summery vibe and I feel like it could dress up or down really well. I'll show you what it looks like here because this will be the picture I take in a minute. But we're really not in the mood today. Like collectively we just, every time we get in the yeah. car we sit in here for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like we want to do it but it's just the motivation to get changed, go out and do it again. It's like, oh, <laughs> really? I also keep getting distracted by my flapjack. Which is constantly in my teeth. Hello, postman. <laughs> Which is constantly in my teeth. But it was really good. It was like a massive slab of um, flapjack. Right, should we jump out? I really do need a wee though. Oh, hello. I really do need a wee. Good morning, gang. From a very slow morning, actually. I'm heading out for a walk with my friend Georgia this morning. Um, so it's got to like nine o'clock. I'm leaving in an hour and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna put on like literally just gym stuff and have a lazy morning just like milling around the house until I go for this walk and just take it super super easy. Um, I am doing, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet this week, but I'm doing the magic with a group of gorgeous gals on my WhatsApp. So I basically decided that I wanted to do the magic and thought, let me extend the invite to Instagram. So I've got a little group of girls. I say little, there's like 260 people or something. Um, and we're just doing the magic together, which if you haven't heard of the magic, it kind of relates back to my podcast. If you haven't listened to the podcast, I highly recommend. I bloody love my podcast. But um, the magic is basically like a 28 day practice where you essentially learn like different ways to express gratitude, different ways to manifest. Like you just kind of get the whole shebang and it's really, really nice because it just almost like gives you a month of just feeling super, super, super grateful and people get amazing results from it. Like I've done it a few times um, I think I've done it like three times and I'm so excited because I'm doing it with other people it's just it's fun to have like a little sense of community so if you did miss the boat on this one because obviously it's like a daily activity thing so I can't add people in like later on and stuff but if you miss the boat then I will be doing another one I think in January as like a new year new me kind of thing and just kind of making a little group that I think will be really fun for them too it's going to be roughly like £11.11 11 because I thought, you know, angel number. But if you wanted to do it next time, then obviously be my guest to sign up. I will be putting the information together at some point soon. It'll probably be more so like November time that you really hear about it because I just think it's a bit too soon to sign up for it now. But yeah, it's going to be a little like group chat vibe, um, doing the magic, everyone's involved. And it's actually really nice. Like I'm really loving it. I really wanted to make the podcast into more than just a podcast and... I feel like I've kind of done that and I'm really, really grateful to all of the girls who are in that group chat and giving me a daily inch bow. But this morning, straight chill. <laughs> I've actually got a protein shake and some banana and peanut butter on toast this morning. I just didn't fancy making anything too big so this was like my nice happy medium. And um, I'm going to read my book for a bit I think. I need to write my morning gratitudes first but then I'm just gonna read a book for an hour, relax on the sofa. 
I do have work that I could be getting on with, like editing and stuff, but I really want to give myself just one hour to just read my book and just be chilled because I feel like I'm constantly like go, 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 go at the moment and I just want to have like just an hour to relax. So I've cleaned the flat a little bit, now relax time and then we go for a long walk. Okay, Georgia hasn't come on the walk, but I've come on my own. So we're going to pop the headphones on, get a podcast playing. I think I might listen to, there's a Diary of a CEO episode that's with Mindy something. And it's one about like health and like nutrition and stuff. So I think I'm going to listen to that. And I'm going to grab myself a nice little coffee before I start walking around. Because I think it would be so nice to just have like a little something um, as I start my little walk. I'm so excited. I actually love a good walk. And because I'm doing day four of the magic and it's health, what better way to do it? Like the perfect timing. I will link my headphones as well. These are the Bose noise cancelling something or other, but they're really good. Like I can hear myself, but I can hear nothing else. The noise cancelling is so good. And they're also really nice because they don't like move too much in the gym and they fit really snug around your ear and they go really loud, which is really good. I do have my LG ones that I use a lot, like the little black ones. You might remember them from a couple of videos ago. I have those and I do use them quite a lot, but for walks and stuff, I find these better because it just completely blocks out all of the noise. I know you can't fully see me, but there's nowhere else to put the phone, I don't think. Maybe over there. Is that better? A little bit. That was very sweaty, but I'm so glad I did it. Um, and yes, I do lock my steering wheel. You can probably see this. I lock it because Range Rovers get nicked all the time. And I don't really want mine to be one of the ones that gets nicked. So yes, I look like a bit of an idiot, but I'd rather look like an idiot than have a stolen car. But yeah, it was a really, really nice walk. And it took me about an hour to get all the way around. It's like just under seven kilometers. Oh no, hang on, this is saying distance 7.73, but then it's saying the walk was 6.86. I'm unsure, it's about six or seven kilometers. 9,000 steps, and it was just so nice. But I walked around listening to the Stephen Bartlett podcast that I think I mentioned before. Um, it's episode number 256, it's called The Miracle Doctor, but it's so interesting and I'm so into that kind of thing. Like I love learning about our bodies and scientific things and manifestation. Like I'm so into so many topics. Like I'm not into everything, but the things I'm into, I'm really into. So I've been listening to that and really enjoying just learning about like all that kind of stuff. God, I need the air con. But I'm gonna head home now at nearly one o'clock, get myself some lunch and get on with some work when I get back. But I feel pumped. I feel like I've got that like post I feel like I've got the post run endorphins, but it's from walking, if that makes sense. So I did like 9,000 steps in an hour. My legs are sore. You know when you get like the twitchy muscles, so I need to stretch the second I'm home. But I feel so good for doing it. Like I feel so good. I really didn't want to go this morning, but I'm so glad that I did. And yeah, the sweaty face says it all. So let's head home. <sighs> I don't know when the last time I did a garden update was, but look at our tomatoes. We've had to now put sticks in them to try and hold them upright but they're growing really well and we started to get flowers, which apparently means that we should be getting tomatoes soon. So love that. And then this is the peppers and the chilies. I'm not sure which is which. I honestly cannot remember, but these are also starting to get a few little flowers, which is really exciting. So a couple of them, I don't know if you can see them in there, but they're starting to get some little, you can kind of see them on this one also. They're starting to get some flowers and our basil has just gone nuts. Like the basil's got like proper solid trunks now and it's just like this started as a tiny little one that you get in the supermarket and it's just growing all over the show. So I think I might use some of it tonight actually because the leaves are growing really big. Oh it smells so good. As I've just like moved it around it smells amazing. And then we've got some more tomato plants down here. Yes we have the fake one. The fake one is actually going to be leaving and I'm going to be putting one of the other tomato plants into here. I just need to get some more soil because that plant pot's quite a good size. But at the moment they're up here taking over the corner, but we need to spread them out a bit because I messed up and put way too many plants in each thing. This one is just, needs to be like straightened up a little bit. She's just kind of going to the side, but yeah, exciting. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Does anyone else have a slight fight with their partner over coffee machine pods? Because I like this coffee thing to be, yes, it does say macaroni pasta on it. This is no longer macaroni pasta. I like this to be full of like a variety. So there's loads of different ones in there and we can just pick whatever we want and like just enjoy a variety of coffee. I actually do have grind ones in here, which are the um, decaf version. 
Uh, and then we have Starbucks Blonde Roast. We have these blue ones, which we got in Australia. I don't know what they are, but they're Australian coffee and they're very good. These are our gold dust. We do not touch these unless it's like a special, desperately in need of caffeine, might fall asleep if I don't have one right this second kind of moment or like a Sunday morning together. And then the blue ones are just like Audi specials. But James picked up some more the other day. So he got these like Colombian ones and Costa Rican ones from Aldi. And he's been like using them out of here, but not putting them in here. Because he likes to keep this as like, we go through all of this and then we have those. But he's having them out of here. So I'm just going to put some in. Because <laughs> I like having a colourful little situation going on. Um, and also like, it's not like they're his pods and then I've got my pods, like we share. But that just looks way nicer. So I've done that and I'm going to try. He told me the Costa Rica ones are really good this morning. So I'm going to try a Costa Rica one because... It's like 4 p.m., which I know, bit of a rogue time to have a cup of coffee, but I'm going out swimming with two of my friends later, Tash and Amelia, of course, who else do I ever swim with? And um, I just thought it would be quite a nice, like, pick me up this afternoon before I go swimming. I did do the walk by myself, as you saw. I was meant to go with G, but she is not feeling 100% today. So she said she's just gonna rest up at home and then she'll be good as gold for the Tough Mudder, which we're doing on Saturday. That I would love to bring you along for in the vlog. However, I'm doing it with Georgia and Ebony, and we were saying let's vlog it. But the only thing is, like, we could strap a GoPro to us and stuff, but I just think we're gonna be so covered in mud that trying to keep the GoPro clean, but also like the footage, like I just think even if we're wiping the GoPro off, we're gonna be covered in mud, the GoPro's gonna be covered in mud, it's gonna end up being like dried, like smeary, really rubbish quality. So I'm just not gonna vlog it. But I'm going to try and make a little TikTok of like the transition from before and after. Like I might try and do like a this is us before, this is us after kind of vibe. So I think we're going to be absolutely covered. But I need to run and grab some trainers from Primark. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Because I also need to pick up the mugs that we painted on my birthday last week. Because the one thing we did realise is we probably should wear cheap shoes. Like cheap trainers that we don't care about ruining. Because I don't really have any that I would not mind ruining if you know what I mean. So the girls got theirs today. I need to go and pick up some tomorrow. And then I'm gonna try and pick up like, I've got these shorts, but these are Lulu and I really don't wanna ruin them. So I'm tempted to buy like Primark version of the shorts and a little black t-shirt or something, or maybe like knit to H&M because I know their active stuff's really good. But I just, I really don't wanna ruin my gym stuff. And I know mud is like, not like the be all and end all of the world, but I just, I don't know. I don't wanna ruin all my gym clothes, basically. I've also had... I'll talk when this has stopped. We're just going to talk over it. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I've also had Gilmore Girls stuck in my head all day and I'm trying to decide whether it's too early to start binging Gilmore Girls before like autumn or whether I just start binging it on my flight home from Bali at the end of August and then like watch it through autumn. I'm thinking that's a better option. But I've been watching Ashley Madison Diaries Investigation. I don't know what it's called. The Ashley Madison something documentary on Disney Plus and it is wild if you haven't seen it. The actual documentary is a bit boring, but it's basically a website that was set up in like, oh God, I can't remember they said it was set up, but a while ago, like back before people really had internet. And it's basically a website that was specifically for married people to cheat on like their partners and like have affairs. And then it became like a public thing. They'd talk about it on the, like the guy who owned it would talk about it on talk shows. They started advertising on like porn websites and like all this other stuff to try and like really promote this website. And then it was like the side of just people interviewing and being like, wow, this is mental. Then you had like people who worked there and like people who were cheated on, etc. or people who used the site talking. And it's just absolutely mental that it's a website for married couples, like married people to cheat on their partner, but also 
the fact that it was so like talked about in the news and stuff and like he was literally doing interviews about this website and people were still using it but basically there was a massive data leak and i think it was like 30 million people or something like that had their details leaked and if you knew a person's name and email address you could find out if they'd ever used the website so it caused a lot of divorces and stuff it it's wild so i've just watched the kardashians and then that so i highly recommend it's on disney plus if you're into that kind of thing but I don't think I need this coffee to be honest. I tripped and fell into Primark and accidentally bought a few things. I went in to get trainers because I think I've mentioned it already, but I'm doing Tough Mudder tomorrow with Georgia and Ebony. So um, we obviously needed to get some trainers that we just don't really mind getting ruined because I like <laughs> you literally get covered in mud and I just don't want to risk ruining like my gym trainers and stuff because they're expensive. Like my gym trainers are like a hundred pounds and I don't want to ruin them. And likewise, all of my other trainers are also quite expensive. I just don't want them getting wrecked. So I went and bought some really cheap ones from Primark, which I've actually already packed. Um, if you want to see a packing video, I did one on TikTok. It's too long for YouTube shorts, but it's over on my TikTok, which is Jess M Shepherd. Same as on here. I post on TikTok about 20 times a day. Um, slight exaggeration, it's like three. But I really love TikTok at the moment. So definitely check that out if you want to have a look. But um, I bought a few bits. Look, I, I, some of it is going back. I've already, I've already realised some is going back. So, I got two cushion fillers, which were one pound fifty each. Yeah, one pound fifty cushion filler. You can't go wrong. I'd rather pay that than pay like H and M prices. So, I picked up two of those, and then I also picked up two cushion covers because I have like the odd hints of like peach and pink in my house, and in the fluorescent lights, these looked a little bit more the colour I wanted. However, now I've got them home, they look a bit too like the wrong colour if that makes sense. So I think they're gonna be going back. But I did see some cushions in there that were like already made cushions that were like this really cute like check print that I think will go really well on the sofa now I'm looking at it. So I think I might go back and buy those and take these back. But these were like a pound each or something. They were really inexpensive. Yeah, one pound each. So I just, they're the wrong colour. Like I really like them, they're just completely the wrong colour. And I also think James will slightly kill me for keep adding pink. I lived on my own for three years. Like I collected a lot of pink things. And I also think pink complements neutrals really nicely. So that's why we have a lot of pink and greens and stuff. But they're gonna be going back, which is a shame. And I'm gonna be buying the neutral ones. Um, then I also bought the trainers, which I've obviously already showed you. I got a little hair clip, which is like so. It's just like a pink and gray one. I use these all the time, so I just thought I'd get another one. Again, probably don't really need it, but I thought I would buy it. And then I picked up one of these as well, which I I have the Bowen T versions of these, which is what they're a dupe of. Um, so I thought I'd get one of these and just see what it's like. I'll be honest, the quality is definitely a lot less than Bowen T. The Bowen T one is really, really stretchy in the middle, um, and it's more like sucky and hold you in kind of vibe. Whereas this one is definitely not as tight around the middle. Um, I got it in a small because it looked very tiny. Although I'm not 100% sure if I should have gone extra small. Usually I do go extra small in Primark because I'm an 8 and small is a 10, 12. But um, we'll see. It was only £10 so I'm going to try it on and see what I think. But I just thought the green was a really beautiful colour. And then the last thing I got was for the vegetable garden. These were a pound each and I was looking on Amazon for similar and they were really expensive. But we basically have all of our veggies and stuff like in one big plant thing along the side which you've seen and I thought actually it might be quite nice to put like a basil and like like maybe the chili plants and stuff in these just so they're a bit more separate because the basil is starting to take over so I want to try and separate them out a little bit and then we're going to hang them on like the other side as well so we've got like a few different places um with little bits but they're just really small and cute and they're just easy like they're just the little pots and also James could definitely drill through the bottle the bottom to get some drainage in there as well just so the water doesn't like collect in the bottom and stuff but yeah i thought they were really handy i was going to try and put them out today but it's raining quite a lot so i think that's going to be a monday task when i'm home or like a sunday task maybe but yeah that's what i picked up in primark today as i said a minute ago i have already packed for tough mudder but we i think we've kind of messed up so we're only staying for one night and we're doing manchester i don't know why we thought manchester would be a good idea i really don't know why we booked manchester but we've booked it like <laughs> well over six months i think we booked it like eight months ago or something and we thought because it's summer it'll be like oh that was it we booked it because this was the only weekend we could do but um it's going to be raining the whole of tomorrow and it's chucking it down right now and it's like four hour drive tonight so we're all gonna drive up together, get like a little coffee and stuff on the way and like get something to eat en route. 
because you know like services we're going up the m40 and i feel like services have that's the motorway I used to get to like my grandparents and stuff. So I'm very accustomed to the M40 because my grandma lives up in Solihull, which is like that kind of neck of the woods. Um, and I know that Oxford and stuff have really good food options. So I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to get good food. If not, we'll just get like a meal deal from somewhere. But we're heading up tonight, doing the race tomorrow. And then we haven't paid for a second night in a hotel because we don't want to stay. But I'm starting to think we maybe should have paid for another night in a hotel just so we could have used the shower because our checkout is at 12. So we're doing the 10 a.m. race and apparently it takes you an hour and a half. I think it's gonna take longer because they stagger you through. Um, so we're hoping we might be able to like race back to the hotel and quickly shower and stuff, but I don't know if that's gonna be an option. And um, if not, it's literally a hose afterwards to just hose you down. So I really don't know what we're gonna do. I'm thinking we might potentially have to just like change in the car and just put on like sweatpants and stuff that is like super easy, but we're trying to navigate that part of it at the moment and I think it'll be fine. I'm just going to wear like a cheap Primark tracksuit to the race. So like put it over the top and then just take it off and put it back on after, I think. But we're going to definitely have to take a lot of bin bags to sit on and stuff in the car because otherwise the car's going to get covered. I might try and take a bin bag actually to put all my clothes and shoes in afterwards just so it doesn't go all over Ebony's car. <laughs> oh, I just, we're going to be so cold and so wet. It's fine, all in the name of good fun. This I think was actually my idea. So I, I'm 99% sure this is my idea, but I think it's gonna be fun. My aim is to like get there, start the race and just like throw myself into the biggest muddy puddle like immediately so that I'm already soaked, I'm already muddy and I'm already cold. And then the rest of the race won't feel as bad because there's nothing worse than like starting and getting like a little bit wet and then just being like, oh now I don't wanna get like really wet. So I'm just gonna throw myself in. And we're just gonna love it. I was gonna try and vlog it, but I really don't think vlogging is gonna be an option because um, I don't wanna take this camera and my GoPro, like, I think I've already said this yesterday, but like, it's just gonna be really hard. So it'll probably just be like the odd little bit of content elsewhere, but I'm so nervous and so excited. I feel like it's gonna be very mentally challenging, but I know that people who do Tough Mudder are all types of abilities. So like watching the videos and stuff, there is all shapes and sizes, all abilities, I'm not gonna be the least fit person there. I'm definitely not gonna be the most fit person there. So I think it'll be fine. And I think because women are quite supportive, I feel like we'll end up just having other women and girls that we just like bond with. And we're like, no, let's help each other. Like, let's do it. And it'll be really fun. So yeah, exciting. I'm gonna sit on the sofa and get some editing done. Um, good evening, guys. It's a little while later and we're vlogging on the phone. These two are both ignoring me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. We are at Oxford Services, about to go get Pizza Express, and you two are really not playing up the way you just wear an Ebony's Sorry, vlog. sorry, sorry. I didn't even oh know. Oh my god, I'm so I'm excited. We're at Oxford Services. I'm going to go get Pizza Express. I'm going to get garlic dip. I'm going to get garlic dip. I might get a coffee. Are you going to get the spicy ones? I you know, are the spicy mm. day balls. <gasps> <laughs> Um, we've stocked up on snacks we did have a really bad experience with pizza express it took over an hour it was very terrible but we um we got the goods oh ready? <laughs> ready hello <laughs> We're ready to go. We're in our little comfies. We're being so like cocky about this. We're like, oh look at us all cute. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not gonna be cute in five minutes really. time. But I actually can't wait to be really muddy. Do you wanna see what we're wearing? Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're wearing. Um I have just okay. got we've done this like three times now. But let's do it one more. One more time. It's on TikTok. But um just cheap product sweatshirt. I've got a little top from H&M, my Lulu shorts, bad idea, and some Primark shoes. Girls, go. I have got to see Primark oh, shorts, <laughs> uh, Primark top, nasty girl jumper, Primark shoes. I've got the oldest flex fit trousers, trousers, why are you saying jeans? They're not jeans. <laughs> trousers you've ever that would seen. Be a terrible Can decision. you imagine? A little pink thing and pink. shoes I'm not wearing. <laughs> and that's the extent of my outfit. <laughs> And um, we're about to go get completely covered in mud, and I really hope it's warm. It's, it's very so windy. Fun. Look at the clouds. I don't. I don't want to talk about wow. it. Wow. Yeah, we did just tell Georgia we get grumpy when we're cold, and we're about to be freezing. So, oh. love that for her. Oh. 